Well, tell me about the story of these layers. I mean, how did they get here? In the 600th year of Noah's life, on the second month, the 17th day of the month, the same day were all the fountains of the great deep broken up and the windows of heaven were opened. My understanding is the ocean floor upheaval occurred. Some type of magma or mm -hmm. earthquake propelled the oceans over the continent. So that's why we get uh, these marine fossils in these layers. Yes, and we have six months the waters prevailed upon the earth, another seven months or so for the water to subside. The 4,000 feet of strata probably represents the early and middle part of the global flood right here in Grand Canyon. We have other strata locally in this Grand Canyon region. That's called the Grand Staircase. We have about 10,000 feet, two miles thickness of strata on top of the Grand Canyon. Higher than where we are. Higher than where we are. And that represents the, the later stages of the flood and the retreat of the flood water. This surface was beveled by retreat of flood waters. And as the flood retreated into the newly formed ocean basins, then the continents probably uplifted and the ark, of course, was landed in the high country in the Middle East. Well, there are some people who say that that record is about a local flood. I believe it's a global flood and all the high hills are the whole heaven were covered, a universal statement, but that mountains have risen since then. And we shouldn't measure the depth of the floodwaters by the present mountains of the earth, which are largely created during the flood and after the flood. Well, the fact that we have all of these layers um, would be unknown to us if we were standing on them, you know, somewhere else, but they're known to us because they've been cut out. How did that happen? Well, it was a story that we all learned in grammar school, okay? Colorado River, over tens of millions of years, cut the Grand Canyon. Most geologists have jettisoned that idea. It's hard to sustain a canyon like this for uh, tens of millions of years. It, it, you can't imagine a canyon enduring that long with erosion. Is that because right it would have eventually the sides would have collapsed and, yes. and broken down? Then how in the world do we get this all carved out? Well, uh, there are lots of theories. And uh, personally, I like the idea of catastrophic erosion by drainage of lakes. So after the flood, we have these large bodies of water, these lakes that are trapped. There's evidence of the big lake in the Painted Desert, a place called Hopi Buttes, hmm. about 500 cubic miles of water in this huge lake. And it so the dam breaks and all of that massive amount of water then is now pouring out and carving this. Yes, and uh, how long would it take to erode Grand Canyon? Maybe weeks, but not uh, millions of years. Time is not a magic wand mm -hmm. that solves all the geologic problems of the world. Jettison that way of thinking about millions of years and then start thinking about catastrophic process like you've seen at Mount St. Helens, and that'll help you understand Grand Canyon.